Hello, and welcome to PCI's Tech TV mini series, New Mosaicing Features in Geomatica. In this episode, we will look at Geomatica's new automatic color balancing algorithm called Bundle. Specifically, we're going to cover the following topics. We're going to take a look at a result gallery that shows a variety of results from different sensors and different land cover types. We're going to take a brief look at how it works, some of the basic theory and concepts behind the Bundle algorithm. And then we'll take a look at a live workflow example. So let's begin with our gallery of results. So here we can see we have five different data sets or five different projects. We have an Airphoto, CompSat, Landsat, RapidEye, Worldview 2. And each of them cover, for the most part, different terrain, different land cover types. So the Airphoto is over a more specific region. And you can see that when we don't apply color balancing, and we, we can see that we have obvious seams in the across track or between the different flight lines. So then when we apply our bundle method, you can see that we effectively remove those seams, particularly on the land. So if we zoom into an area, so you can see even with the set of blending, you can see you'll see an obvious discrepancy or an obvious seam. When we apply our bundle method, you can see those seams are eliminated. If we go to the CompSat area over Toronto, you can see the same thing, that we have a significant this time a significant discrepancy in the different orbital tracks. So you can see where the cut lines cut through the different orbital tracks. Each orbital track or each image within an orbital track is well balanced to each other, but the different orbital tracks, uh, these three different orbital tracks, are not well balanced uh, between them. And then after we apply our color balancing, you can see that we not only get a very nice seamless image between all the images, but we also get a much more natural looking color. Now the next one I'm going to show you is a Landsat mosaic that we did for all of Canada. So here you can see we have seasonal variations, we have ice and snow, we have water, we have a variety of different uh, radiometric challenges that the algorithm has to be able to deal with. So here is with no color balancing applied, then here is once we apply color balancing, you can see we have a nicely balanced image, uh, not from at least from an overview, you can't really see any visible seams. You can also see that we have a nice aesthetically pleasing color as this method also helps to retain the radiometric fidelity of the images. Look at another mosaic you can see of rapid eye. We have these long strips and a lot of vegetation and water. And you can see when we apply color balancing, we get a much improved, still and very natural and aesthetically pleasing result. And if we look at this one, which is rather interesting, as it's Worldview 2 imagery combined with GOI imagery. You can see that before color balancing or with no color balancing, the histograms or the radiometry is, is very poor. And then after we apply color balancing, you can see that we get a much improved result. Now that you've seen the kind of results that can be expected, let's take a look, a very quick look at how the algorithm works or what the algorithm is trying to accomplish. So we can see here that the bundle algorithm is helping to solve this particular problem. A lot of the traditional approaches, they will adjust the image as one single object bringing the image brightness and contrast up or down and then trying to blend it with its subsequent images. The problem is, is that sometimes this image might be color balanced to its surrounding images and same thing with this one and then this image in between might balance well to here but then doesn't bow with, balance well with this image and this is the kind of problem that the bundle method is trying to solve and we do this by treating each edge separately and then blending it in together. So it's kind of similar to actually a block bundle adjustment in terms of photogrammetry. And the, basically the idea is that we treat each edge separately, independently, and then apply a nice blending factor or a gradient effect so that you don't notice any seams. So we can have, treat this edge separately from this edge and separately from this edge. Meanwhile, doing that for all of these so we can get them all to nicely balance together ultimately getting a good result. Now obviously in this example we show a bit of a gradient effect here. This, you know, The idea is we don't make it so obvious or visible in your mosaic, but this is the concept that's being applied. So let's finish off by showing you an example of how this works. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to first show you the imagery that we're going to work with. So I'm just going to work with these three rapid eye images over Lisbon, Spain. And when I load them directly you can see that there is a significant radiometric discrepancy between these images. 
what we're going to go here is in our ortho engine project we've already generated our orthos with GCPs and tie points automatically collected so we're going to go to the mosaicing stage we're going to define our mosaic so we can just go into here we'll create a name for our mosaic we'll call it uh, click OK then we're going to go right to this last one which is the automatic mosaicing panel and we're going to go here to color balancing so you can see by default it's set to bundle we're just going to click on it one more time to make this active so we're going to ignore the pixels under the bitmap so we're going to provide a water mask this will help to make sure that we get uh, that we don't include the water pixels when we're color balancing as that will disrupt the the radiometric balancing we're going to use the blend width that's uh, already set here and then we're going to basically just run this as it is. So you can see we have two options. We have the generate preview or generate mosaic. So we'll click on the generate preview option and we'll let this process. So our result automatically pops up on screen and you can see that we have a nicely balanced uh, mosaic here without any manual intervention. If we remove the cut lines see that all three of these images nicely balance just for example zoom into an area where we know we have the cut line we can put it back through and see a nicely balanced mosaic